it's another thing in reference to criminal politics and their trespassing with their surveillance and they try to call it their judicial surveillance. Now everybody knows I was born with royal hermaphrodite diplomatic immunity. And I was born as one of the richest children ever born in the world. Now this is already documented. What was you born as, government man? And I was born as a royal hermaphrodite. Mr. Politician man that's violating my life. When you were born, how much was you worth, motherfucker? Was I born as the richest child in the world or what? What were you born as? They're still hitting me in the jaw right here. See, all this has to be mentioned in reference to uh, prosecuting these people for their tricks. You know, it's not that people think that they're better than other people in one way or the other. It's just that means that people are different than other people. And since these people are always after money, they're always trying to steal land, they're always trying to steal companies and revenues and products and inventions, that's why things have to be mentioned a certain way. I have friends of different races and ethnicities that come from different backgrounds, too. So this is just one of these things that has to be mentioned, where I have to mention specific things to see where these people think they're coming from with their tricks. I have to mention certain things to differentiate between the differences for why they don't have any legal right spying on me. Now, I want you to know it is illegal for politicians to communicate their names to people in their houses. That's illegal soliciting as their way of trying to get people to bitch and complain about those politicians where those politicians would try to commit murder on a person that they invaded and trespassed on. Now, you know, all these politicians that have threatened my life or harassed me or have abused me trespassed on my life. And this is a hostage situation. I got kidnapped from California over 23 years ago. You know that, right? And every fucking day since, until I have full access and living at home at my mother and father's mansions, it still is a hostage situation. No matter what it seems like. So it might look like, oh, it doesn't look like much is going on because you can't see the invisible satellite burning people's faces or pulling on their faces and making their faces look tired and long face and all this other shit. Yeah, they do that to me every day. They claim they don't know anything about what they're doing. They claim they don't know why they're doing these things. It's what these satellite controllers try to claim when they try to communicate shit. It is illegal for politicians to be soliciting with satellites. Them intentionally abusing people. Don't forget, politicians don't have products that they sell. Do they? So when a satellite controller is terrorizing a person, harassing a person, damaging their teeth, claiming they were trying to fix things that ain't broken, and then they cause damage on things and try to play their tricks of denying real qualities and then calling them fake qualities because they were prettier than their qualities, those government agents need to face life in prison or the death penalty, and they must get sued for their crimes. They do this shit thinking they're funny. When invisible technology to harm people has been outlawed in this country. Satellites are a biological weapon. The crimes of their government agents using these satellites and harassing a person and then trying to call a person crazy because they bitch and complain about them getting burnt. Your government agents need to get prosecuted. You don't own anybody else's face or teeth. You don't own anybody's rights in this country. There's specific guidelines in reference to government. If you falsified or manipulated your way into people's lives and caused injury or murdered or mutilated or stole their money or tried to run them off their property or was piggyback riding them or burning their genitals or burning vaginas or penises and balls or anuses or mouths or orifices of the body or noses or ears, you're going to have to get prosecuted. Your way of claiming you were marking somebody or terrorizing a person for their for your fun and games 
is a crime in America. That is political harassment. You do not have a right terrorizing my life or anybody else's life in this country. Your activity of playing your fun and games of torturing people and mutilating people, thinking you said it was funny. That's illegal contact with a person's anatomy. And that satellite controller claimed he was doing these things. He's communicated saying he was doing these things because he thought it was funny. Well, if the person you're doing it to don't think it's funny, government man, and you're causing them physical injury and you're in contact with their body causing damage, you can get prosecuted. You think you're funny on every trick you've tried to play, man. And you need to get prosecuted for your tricks and your lies and your fucking dirty communism that you have tried to turn the American government into a communist government. And you can get put on trial for high treason. They have evidence of your people doing these things, government man, then they're going to be prosecuted. You're violating the laws of this country. And you have no legal right being in politics. You are incompetent. You are destructive. And you're probably a serial killer. Or you're a serial rapist. And they're the one, somebody communicated was one of Barack Obama's people that shot at me. It's illegal use of a weapon. You're not allowed to approach me with a weapon. You're not allowed to look at me with a weapon. I don't know if it was Barack Obama's man or not. Or whose political person it was, but people have it on record. How many of these government people have shot at me? Every one of them faces the death penalty. I don't even carry a gun, motherfuckers. You're always trying to shoot an unarmed man. You're always trying to hurt an unarmed person. You're always trying to steal what I'm the owner of. You need to show up in court. And it is the government that's been terrorizing me. And their conspirators. What do you want, government man? What do you want? You claim you outrank me, right? Oh, you thought if you stole genetics, you thought you would outrank me. Well, I got seniority in reference to my mother and father's estates and companies. None of those stolen children would ever have any seniority, and you tried to judge me by slandering my character. You can go to prison for life, you dirty motherfucker. You think you're fucking funny too, don't you? And if you were in office at any time when somebody had shot at me, you might get blamed and you might get prosecuted for it. Because my parents owned land in all 50 states or owned businesses and distribution of products in all 50 states in America, you motherfucker. And you could die for your fucking crimes. And they could make your life miserable when you're sitting behind bars begging for your fucking life, you son of a bitch.